The objective of this video is to demonstrate the boxing of a complete denture impression using the plaster and pumice technique. The boxing of an impression is defined as the enclosure of an impression to produce desired size and form of the base of the cast and to preserve desired details. Mix the plaster and pumice to 1 to 1 ratio. Using boxing wax create a base former for the plaster and pumice around the impression. Make sure there is a 1 cm space between the former and the impression. Start adding water and mixing it with the powder to obtain a thick mix. Pour the mixture into the former and spread it evenly. <coughs> Place your impression in the plaster and pumice mixture. As the material starts to set, use a wax spatula number 31 to remove excess plaster and pumice around the impression. You should have around 3 to 4 millimeters of the impression borders exposed above the plaster and pumice all around the borders of your impression. Remove the boxing wax and separate the plaster and pumice boxing from the base underneath it. Using a lab knife, trim the excess plaster and pumice from around the impression. Remember that you need to keep about 3 to 4 millimeters of your impression borders above the plaster and pumice. Once hardened, trim the plaster and pumice impression to preserve about 5 mm of land area around your impression. Care must be taken not to over trim the plaster and pumice as the material is relatively soft for the trimmer. Use boxing wax to box the plaster and pumice impression. Add wax accordingly so you have enough height for the poured stone. The poured stone should be about 1 inch high from the highest point of your boxed impression. If you use PVS to make your impression, use a debabilizer and spray it on the PVS impression to decrease the chances of getting bubbles on your cast. You should now be ready to pour your impression. Thank you.